Hello, it's uh, David Jordan. Um, if you're watching, thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry I had a bit of a rant yesterday. Um, I wasn't expecting. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, I'm going to move on from that. I have decided that until somebody believes me and starts to see what I'm seeing, I'm just going to post my observations that I make either during the day or at night. So these are images taken tonight, 26. Actually, um, this is it's now the 4 o'clock in the morning on the 27th, but these are taken on the 26th of September. Um, and they show what I believe to be planetary bodies on the horizon. Um, hence this blue and red. If you watched my video yesterday, uh, these are the uh, brick pit chimneys at the back of the town where I live. And as I explained yesterday, I, I, I've been on tours to these places um, and they have strict regulations. I know people that work there as well. They The, the smoke has to be a certain colour and it's not allowed to be polluted and it's not allowed to go over the town at a certain time, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, it's usually white, um, and for the last few nights it's been red and blue. So I decided to drive back out tonight because I went to Screw Fix again. This video was 10 minutes longer, but I chopped the first bit off because it was a bit long anyway. So I pulled over on the way back home. Um, that ball of light you just see in the sky was the moon. <laughs> and, um, and then all these weird stuff you're seeing here this is this cloud formation so my theory is is that we are seeing planet x because it makes sense if this thing's big and it's coming in from the sun that we are going to see some sort of i don't know reflection of it i don't know or some image of it and it seems to bring with it i don't know why i don't know why um but a a dust storm in the form of a you know, it starts with a dragon but at night it looks like I don't know looks like a big massive I don't know what but I tried to get it the best possible so these are the chimneys that's the moon and you can see this red cloud moving in I'm sorry it's one of my brilliant stop frame animations because I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> um, you can see this blue color though blue and red and then you can see the red on the left it's the red of X of X's dust storm and if um, yeah so there's the moon just there look and you can see this thing coming in from the right um, I mean it really did come in tonight as well it really did it got very cold again when this thing comes over and to the point where you can see your breath um, yeah ultra cold and when I tracked it back later on um, which will be on here in a minute I drive back to Whittlesea um, which is where I live and I drove out to the Ramsey Road I sat down there and I filmed it f well took some photos of it for a bit um, yeah and when it when it came down there it was black it came in as a fog and at one point it was so dark where I was sitting that I could hardly see the road in front of me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you know, I, I was. It almost looked like it was dropping red iron oxide dust everywhere, but I didn't seem to see any. Um, I've then come back tonight. I've been trying to put this slideshow thing together this is this is all, all the pictures basically just running in sequence they're all genuine none of them have been tampered with again they're all um, as they came off my phone no filters as well play lens flares though and I've got a I've got a theory about how they keep these planetary bodies hidden from us um, in the light refractions that I've been getting for the last eight weeks um, I keep getting what looks like beams of green light um, all next to each other 
coming down from the sky and I've picked these up quite a few times I'm going to try and put a video together there's a couple in this video for the sharp eyed among you um, you might be able to spot them um, but what it seems to do it seems to when you see when you or when you capture this and you look at your pictures or if you're lucky enough to actually see it which um, I have a few times um, you can see you can see beings that are I don't know it's like it's like they're in the same space as us but we don't see them if that makes sense and um, yeah I don't know and you don't, I don't know they seem <laughs> it all, it's all a bit weird um, I will try and make a video of it about it because I've got tons and tons and tons of stuff I could I can show you um, if you want to get a good light refraction especially with these planetary bodies if you just go to a street lamp at night um, you might look a bit of a wally but wave your phone about with the camera and you'll see a pink reflection and I think there's a green one as well especially at night yeah, very strange anyway sorry I got a bit distracted there so where am I now tired that's where I am <laughs> um, okay yeah so I think I'm coming back in to my hometown now and um, I head straight for where I normally go which is on the Ramsey Road and there's a lay by there and it's got open views other side now this is X can you see her the brown so she just started coming in over the moon which is about seven or eight miles from where I lived um, and you could see that with that cloud coming in past the moon and it was going over the chimneys um, and she's coming straight from that direction now so I've driven back to where I live and then back out the other side um, and this is her coming so she's going to be steaming straight over this way, yeah. It's, it's very strange, she sort of comes around in a, it's like a horseshoe shape almost. Um, so I just sat and clicked my camera, I click, 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 click. And tonight it was very observable. There was a, a blue and red object on the horizon opposite this. So so if this is 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock behind me, I'll, I'll do pan around a few times and you can clearly see what is a a blue I don't know it's a blue light <laughs> it's a blue object um, if you see it in person you can see that it's clearly a blue sphere and next to X herself she seems to have another one or two objects and then to the left of her so it'd be at nine o'clock um, there is another object but that was it, it got so dark when her dust cloud came in which you can see now I mean it come in it come in strong tonight I mean we're still not seeing the debris and we're still not seeing the iron oxide but it's it's almost like clockwork at the moment um, so yeah I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep looking keep posting I don't want to read any more comments um, I, I have read a few today actually a few uh, a few nice comments and you know, um, on the video that I posted earlier, so thank you for them, because uh, after yesterday's, or the previous two days' assault, um, <laughs> um, yeah, you sort of gave me the encouragement to, uh, you know, I'm just going to keep posting. Um, you can disagree with it, disagree with it, debunk me. Do your own research, though, but, you know, I'll, I want someone to prove me wrong. I've just finished... Well, I've almost finished my extension and I want to sell it and move <laughs> somewhere quiet. Um, you know, look, but you can see it here, look, you can see this. So this is a dust cloud and you can see up in the, in the right hand side. Looks like a bird, but, um, but it's not. It's X and you can see this um, dust cloud is full 
of moving debris. Um, see? And that's a debris cloud, it really is. It's, uh... So this is the other side, this is the opposite side. There's this, so there's a blue and a red object. Which again is weird. Yeah, I'll do come back to them. <laughs> So you can see this it, like it's weird when this thing comes over it, you can hear a, sh 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 a really high pitched wind it's hard to, it's hard to sign my great um impression there of it but no it's it's uh, this really high pitched whistle it's actually happening now outside Yeah, it's very weird. Anyway, you hear this high-pitched whistle, and it it seems to go with 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 the wind. Well, with the with the movement of this, you know, the, this wind sound, and um, and although we do experience a wind, although you know, tonight you could clearly see this thing had crept in and it. it engulfed the moon the moon went from this light bright light in the sky and it just disappeared it was eaten up by this storm so by the time I got back back to where I am now filming this from where I was earlier which was about 15 minutes the moon was completely engulfed it was gone um, it had been engulfed by this this dust storm um, so now, what's more concerning is the fact that, you know, this is this is observable. Um, and if it's observable, when does it start to? When does it start to affect us? Because I could have sworn tonight, I could have that, you know, it was it was so black. Um, I'm going to take my dad back out there tomorrow night because he's still not convinced. <laughs> but um, when you see it for yourself, it's, it's uh, yeah, it is, it's, like I suggest it's exhilarating because it's, it's, uh, it's a wonder of, I don't know, our solar system, our, our observable plane of existence but it is it's 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 exhilarating to watch but all, at the same time it's you know it really makes you realize that this thing is on the way and then I'm going to try and record it again tomorrow I'm trying to think of a better way to get a better recording because um, I keep getting this weird phenomenon with my with my nick on at night so if I take a picture I've got a nick on d3000 and nice lenses for it but if I take a picture at night I either get the bright red um, especially the last few days just any direction I point in at the sky it just it just comes back as, as either a bright red picture um, or it comes back electric blue with, I don't know yeah with mad light refractions in it um, yeah, and it's very difficult to get a, a a good picture at night with it. I don't know. Um, it's almost like I don't know. There is interference, and the camera's picking up one of two of the interferences in the sky. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to try and record it again tomorrow night and post it again. Um, I will try and do the same Thursday. I'll be working Friday. Saturday, so if I can catch anything on my way, then I will. And I'm just going to keep posting um, and showing you that I'm getting the same thing every night. Now, this is weird. Let's see, this is it. You've got very dark, so I just put my headlights on. So <laughs> I mean, it got ultra dark. And can you see in the shadows now? It looks like ants, and I, it's it's not ants, it's uh, this is the video clip I looked in this film, it's about nine minutes long, but yeah, can you see this? This is crazy. Um, 
I don't get it. Again, I don't get it. Someone can explain this to me. Because she's over there doing her thing. Going mad and spinning and full of dust and whatever. And you can see it, you can, but we, we're not getting any effects of the iron oxide cloud. Um, I don't know. If anybody wants to come with me, <laughs> you can come and see it yourself. Um, I don't know, it's, it's crazy, but it's, she's definitely there. She is, and I've seen a few YouTube videos tonight. Um, I was watching earlier. Mm. But anyway, I was watching one earlier, and basically, this um, video was something captured by the side of the sun spinning. Now, that image that she got is exactly the same images that I've been getting, and if you uh if you go back from some of my videos um and stop and you'll see um you'll see her and you might even get it in this one actually as well um not in this video you have to go back to the stop frame um and you'll see it's like a i don't know she, she spins <laughs> you know that's why that's why she looks like she's wobbling or the looks like the uh the flare as everybody likes to call it, but that's what it looks like. She was wobbling because she spins quickly. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm saying, seeing the same thing every night, and it's weird as hell. You, know, you can see how black this is. See, you can see the debris in there, you can see it. See, because if she's, she's bigger than us, like Jupiter's size, but she's out by the, the sun, then, I mean, so that's, and that's one astronomical unit, isn't it? From the Earth to the sun is an astronomical unit. And so say Jupiter is seven or 10 astronomical units. I don't know how far it is away, but, but if you plonk that one astronomical unit away you would see it you would clearly see it in the sky um, especially at certain times of the day it's just that I think everyone's expecting something bigger or so, you know you have to remember this thing's on the infrared and there's only a small amount of light that refracts from it um, the rest of it I mean the rest of it I've been tracking up or, or when I first started was the disturbance in the clouds that she, she makes, or to, I mean, it's, and especially this dust cloud that she drags around with her, it's just adjusting your eyes to see it. Um, I mean, I live in uh, Cambridgeshire, just outside Peterborough. Um, if anybody wants, because people have been asking for coordinates and that, and I haven't. <laughs> like I said, I, I I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to stuff like that. I don't even know how I've managed to track this and I just I just seem to know I don't know why but anyway I live in Cambridgeshire um, just outside Peterborough in the Fens and it's very flat it's East Angular um, and it's in the it's in the PE7 um, postcode range if that helps anybody um, yeah if that helps anybody at all to help me see what I'm seeing um, and recording. You know, it's uh, it's crazy. She literally seems to go over my house twice a day. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but look, you can see this. You can see this. I literally live five minutes 
away from here. And uh, yeah, she's like she's like clockwork at the moment. She is like clockwork. You know, it's the same image that um, the woman put up. What's her name? I can find it for you. Um, been watching Arwen Steiger. He's a dude. Not good things to say. So I was watching um, the Planet X new discovery images reveal massive object rotating with the sun and that's on Planet X news and the same image she has like a turquoise picture with some yellow writing and the same image that she's pointing at with the arrow is the same image that I'm seeing with this thing, it looks exactly the same. Um, you know, I, I, I will, I mean, I've, I'm, I've got so much to do. I'm trying to do this and decide whether to sleep or not. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I know that, I know that image for the sharp eyed of you is definitely in some of my videos. Um, I made one about, um, it was my first stop frame one, I just took 500 odd pictures and took them over my house when this thing came over. And if you look carefully in that video, you will see that image, that exact same image that that that, um, that channel has posted. It's, yeah. So it's Planet X New Discovery Image Reveal Massive Object Behind the Road. Uh, massive object rotating with the sun. And it's a turquoise picture with yellow writing, it's 4 minutes 46 seconds, published by Planet X News, um, yeah I will, I'll try and, I'll try and do some bits tomorrow as well, um, see if I can get some, some of the images that I've got exactly the same as that for you, um, and you can see, but um, anyway, this is almost finished now, these last few images coming up were just taken at uh, 3 a.m. on the 27th of September um, and it should be dark outside my house so they're just coming up now uh, it should be dark outside my house and this was the colour of the sky and it pretty much still is at the moment as well yeah um, which is a little bit worrying but I don't know anyway again thank you very much for watching <laughs> um, Please take care of yourselves and each other, all of you. Um, I mean that. Peace and love to you all. And um, and stay safe. <laughs>